I'm there to number one, to to I would call it manage the big picture. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, people are responsible for the pieces of of the work yeah. projects. Usually, in our case, it's 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 it's, it's project. Mm -hmm. But you have to have the outlook and and the and the and the, and the whole portfolio mm -hmm. and, the, and, the, and the, you know what's what's going on. Also, what's what's on the horizon? Mm -hmm. Trying to prepare for for that. Hi everyone, welcome to the second episode of Tech Leaders Corner. Today we're talking with Jarek Dombrowski, a Senior Technology Director and Board Member at IGT Poland. And uh, for you who are tuning in for the first time, Tech Leaders Corner is our podcast where we talk with leaders at technology-focused companies about many different topics. Uh, it depends on the person and their experience. And today with Jarek, first of all, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for being here with us. Um, today with you, we're going to talk about project management. We're going to talk about your career. We're going to talk about different principles in you know, management itself. And we're going to talk about what it's like to lead a 300 person plus digital hub. Hopefully it's going to be interesting yeah, discussion. Yeah. So um, we're going to go through yeah different topics. But to start off, can you introduce yourself? Tell us a little bit about you, about your role and you know how you got here. How I got here? <laughs> I got here <laughs> thanks to your invitation, um, and I'm, I'm so happy to 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 talk to you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, how I started my career at IT, it's 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 interesting because that was over 30 years ago in mm -hmm. 1991 when an American company call, called uh, GTEC signed a contract with Totalizator Sportowy, Polish national lottery, okay, to introduce the online system, online system. Okay, let's make the bit reference. 1991, not many, uh, no internet, <laughs> uh, so the online yeah. system was very different. Uh, had a very, very different, different meaning. Mm -hmm. So the company came to Poland looking for talented people. I hope they were looking for talented people. They found me uh, and hired me as a computer operator. Oh, my right. task was to keep the system up and running, and basically working on shifts. Mm -hmm. And that's what I was doing for for actually quite short time uh, because the company was expanding in Europe and mm -hmm. they needed people from Europe uh, to uh, to work on the projects in different um, jurisdictions. I was young. I was uh, um, looking for the challenges, so I signed up uh, and started to help with the projects at the time. Uh, I was uh, the first project after Poland for me was uh, Czechoslovakia, and okay. again that was Czechoslovakia at the uh -huh, time. Uh -huh. Interesting <laughs> Quite story. Quite a big difference. Since Quite <laughs> a big difference, uh, and uh, interesting story. During the project, when mm -hmm. we started, uh, when we started the project, the country split into Czech Republic and Slovakia. Okay. So we had a um, interesting split of the customer. Mm -hmm. We signed the contract with one lottery, but then we were delivering two systems for two lotteries. Okay. Okay. We had a split of the of the currency. We had a split of um, uh, of the uh, all the formal things, like you know, the company was registered in Prague, but then we had to register it in, in Bratislava again, mm -hmm. and so on and so on. And the most funny problem during that time uh, was that uh, the domestic flights until the October 31st became international flights after after January 1st, okay. which was which was very 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 uh, very funny. Mm -hmm. So I was helping uh, working for IGT if, uh, for GTEC at the time, but now it's it's IGT. I was helping with the projects. As, uh, that was my my title was deputy project manager. Mm -hmm. Uh, so there was a project manager from US, and uh, we, we, I was one of the people to to help him. Uh, Czechoslovakia was was the first one. That was Estonia uh, and Lithuania, mm -hmm. and then I uh, became my own career as a project manager, starting uh, running the project by myself. Okay, starting with the small ones, of course. But finishing finishing up uh, with uh, multi million dollar uh, projects, and they were uh, they were all around the world basically, mm -hmm. uh, mainly in Europe of course. But uh, Finland, Ukraine, uh, Germany, Belgium, uh, Israel, uh, uh, many many jurisdictions, Italy. Mm -hmm. I, Fin Finland was my last one, actually. Okay. Okay. Uh, so many jurisdictions where I was working as a project manager, 
and I liked it very much because I was in some way doing the same, to running the project to deliver the computer system for the lottery. Mm -hmm. But because of the circumstances, because of the of the lottery, country, culture, and so on, so on, those all all the projects were very different. So so I enjoyed it very much. Mm -hmm. So that was my project management time at uh, at GTEC. And then I uh, took over regional role. Okay. Uh, I was responsible for uh, delivery, all the technology deliveries to the customers in the region. The mm -hmm. region was defined as Eastern Europe, so Poland, Lithuania, Ukraine at the time, mm -hmm. Belarus uh, was was at, at some moment as well, Czech and Slovakia, uh, and and Israel. I was managing uh, this uh, this region for a long time. Mm -hmm. Mm, at the same time, uh, until now, mm -hmm. still doing that. And in the meantime, I became uh, the person in charge of our Warsaw Technology Center. Okay. Over 300 people mm -hmm. from different groups, different disciplines, mm -hmm. uh, delivering solutions to the customers sure. around the world. Sure. So, so, so du dual role. All right. All right. And nice. that's basically where I am right now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's yeah. Yeah. Very interesting and very dynamic, as you mentioned. And there's one thing probably worth noting is that a lot of this was also before a lot of these countries joined the EU, right? Namely Poland also, oh, but yes. also others as well, right? Of so course. my project, when you mentioned the yeah. Yeah, my project management ca career was you know, mainly, you know, when mm -hmm. we had uh, still no Schengen, you know, borders, different currencies and, uh -huh, uh -huh. and so on and so on and so on that, of course, uh, doing the business mm -hmm. environment was, was very different, but yeah. also the practical environments mm -hmm. were, were, were very different. And the, and the way we were doing the projects was also very different mm -hmm, because, mm -hmm. you know, of the uh, setups of the technology of of uh, of the processes etc cetera, etc cetera. Sure, sure legal frameworks right so several levels of complexity over what it would be to implement it today for example exactly right? exactly in, in exactly cases. yeah exactly yeah. and uh, where you going for example in that case you know were you stationed locally whenever you were implementing those projects or was some of it done kind of you know That's because also it's very different right in terms of you mentioned like the time yeah. period itself right so connectivity wasn't the same you know the project management tools weren't the same so uh yeah were you on site and in, in those cases very, very, very good question because it shows how how doing the big it project change over over the years mm -hmm. over the decades uh, when uh, at, at my time as a project manager you know we were stationing uh, in the country yeah. where we're delivering the solution basically mm -hmm. so when uh, i was uh, the project manager for israel uh, for, for example i was living there for two years uh, so so uh, working closely with the lottery being uh, on every single meeting mm -hmm. most of the meetings were face to face to face to face etc cetera, etc cetera. and people of course were traveling more they were coming to the meetings they were coming uh, you know, to the big uh, requirement sessions up front mm -hmm. uh, then you know going back home home let's say home office <laughs> going back yeah. uh, home uh, for the um, development phase and then coming back for installation testing, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so, okay. so, so, of course, we had uh, way more people on the ground mm -hmm, in, the, in different mm -hmm. times than it is right now. Right, right now, travel is is, is limited. I still believe it's good mm -hmm. to uh, to see your your customer, uh, your partners yep. on the other side uh, uh, at the beginning to agree upon, you know, how you want to run this mm -hmm, project, mm -hmm. you know, what, what are the priorities. Many things uh, can be written down, uh, but many things uh, are, you know, between the lines. Sure, and and it's, sure. it's 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 always good to to uh, have this eye contact with your partner and mm -hmm. uh, have a better understanding what they're expecting, you know, yep. uh, and convey to them, you know, your thoughts, uh, mm -hmm, the way, mm -hmm. what you think, how you want to operate, how you want to do the things. Sure, et sure. Yeah. Yeah. Also with a lot of face to face meetings, there's the informal conversations that are there, yes. help you understand the person as a person, as a right? Person. As a totality, not just them in that specific role as well. So exactly. definitely that that helps quite quite well. Um, and in terms of, yeah, the Digital Hub, when was that established? The 300 person plus? Well, I'm sorry it, if I was, maybe, yeah, yeah, you know, messed up the name. I hope I we, we, we call it Warsaw Technology Center. <laughs> sorry, Technology Center. Uh, I'll make sure to... We underline Warsaw, you know, to, 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 uh -huh. to underline uh -huh. it's, it's it's based in Poland, of sure, course. Sure, sure. I mean, the uh, talent here is, is uh, great, right? The so. talent here is great. And actually, the, the, uh, the, the how it started, it started some somehow you know i'm not sure you know if 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 i can provide you with the date you know mm -hmm. when it, when it started because when when gta came to poland back in 1991 you know they hired the local staff to operate the, mm -hmm. the system for totalizator that was yeah. one one 
one big group, but at all, already at the time they hired four software engineers mm -hmm. who were supposed to be the primary help for the for the project and for the site later on. Okay, but there was intention to maybe okay, let's use those guys. Uh, uh, as other guys like myself, project managers, mm -hmm. you know, le 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 later on. So it was just a small team of few people who were helping here and there, basically. Uh, but uh, the company realized that those people are very good. Okay. They're available. Mm, they, uh, they are close to the center of action. Remember, the company is a US-based company, sure, uh, sure. so so having a pool of resources in, in Europe mm -hmm, makes mm -hmm. the things easier for all the yep. Europe, Europe, European customers. Mm -hmm. So we gradually, probably without any, mm, any uh, 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 big conscious decision, mm -hmm. we increase the pool of the of the of, of the engineers okay. up to 15-20. Uh, and uh, and started to put m new roles, mm -hmm. new functions mm -hmm. into it, like product development, for example. Okay, there were, there were, it's, it's still today, like uh, uh, customer deliveries and then product um, pr product development. And uh, around ten years ago, something like that, it it, it became formal, okay. if I may say so. So so because it 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 it, it grew to the. To the number over 100, I believe at the at the time, and mm -hmm. we we figured out okay, we we need to have it formalized somehow. We need to put some structure into it. We need to put some order into mm -hmm. in, mm -hmm. into it because uh, different departments, uh, different technology departments within uh, within the company had their people in Warsaw, but there was no mm, no. Uh, umbrella, you know, under which they could they okay. could operate locally and and. Uh, and I got this, you know. I, I some, somehow I volunteered to, mm -hmm. to 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 get to get this role uh, to to manage to organize basically uh, the hub as a hub, mm -hmm. the technology center as a um, as a place to to to, to work uh, efficiently. Okay. Okay. Got it. All right. That's also quite big transition, right? Um, it was big transition. Yeah. To... But uh, mm -hmm. we had uh, we still have, of course, you know, very good people, and so it's easier. Mm -hmm. It's always easier when you do the things with 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 good people, sure. and and sure. that's uh, and uh, my my experience as a manager, my one of my lessons mm -hmm. uh, uh, as as a manager is to invest a bit of time up front in mm -hmm. finding, mentoring, training mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. And once you have uh, good people working with you, working working for you, then the things go easier. Okay. Okay. And there's more time for myself, and uh, sure. and, and that's always better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's true. Uh, yeah. In terms of the you know delegation, making sure that you have the right people on board and everything. Yeah, that's definitely important. So make sure to put in the early groundwork in order to you know have a good foundation to stand Absolutely. on. Right. I think that analogy is quite quite good and translates to, to even people management. Right. Absolutely. Um, yeah. And uh, in terms of the yeah, maybe just in general, when it comes to the transition between, you know, the projects that were a bit more, you know, local or even mm -hmm. regional a bit, but then growing that team. And you mentioned, so 10 years ago, it was a team of 100, right? And now you're 300, um, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, how did you manage that growth and being able to do this, you know, kind of like finding the right people and then, you know, having more of them on board and, you know, growing that uh well, I, I don't want to. I don't want to say it. It happened without the um, without the failures. You know, mm -hmm. we had failures mm -hmm. on 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 the way. So that's that's uh, uh, that's also good because you can you can you can learn from your mistakes. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. Mistake. Mm -hmm. But basically, uh, one of the things we we um, undertook is the natural grow, mm -hmm. and the grow as an expansion of the existing teams, if mm -hmm. I may say so, rather than uh, putting the the new teams. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, the reason for that is that the uh, lottery industry is very specific. Probably every industry is specific. Mm -hmm. but, <laughs> probably, <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> but 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 here in this in this case, what we did is we mm, took the people whom we had already mm -hmm. and we used them as a base for growing. Okay, so we, we hired new people, but we connect them in the teams with the old people. If I may okay. use this this, mm -hmm. this way. Once we tried to uh, to to set it up differently, uh, uh, to organize the new team from the scratch, mm -hmm. and this team was successful for the short period of time, if okay. I may say so, because mm -hmm. they were not connected with other teams. Uh, they were working independently, mm -hmm. and I have to admit that 
that uh, allowed them to have very creative, very fresh ideas, mm-hmm. which was which was good. Yeah, uh, I admit. Mm-hmm. However, their lack of mm, attachment to the reality, if I may mm-hmm. say so, mm-hmm. killed it basically. Sure. Okay, this, sure. this 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 team was uh, was after uh, two or three years dismantled uh, because it didn't work. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. It, it, it 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 simply didn't work. So lesson number one: Okay, do the natural grow. If you have the basis, do the do the grow based on 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 the on those bases. Mm-hmm. At least mm-hmm. that that's what uh, what uh, what worked for us. Uh, number two. Which already has been said, mm-hmm. you know, find a good talent. Yeah. And in Poland, we are in a very good situation mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. we have um, many good talents, so it's easy. Yeah. But but it's 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 crucial, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Look for quality, not not sure. uh, not not the uh, not the quantity. And number three, uh, give people uh, interesting opportunities mm-hmm. because if you have. Uh, uh, some drivers for the people behind of you know that they're getting paid at the end of the month that's always uh, sure. better mm-hmm. yeah yeah and uh, yeah that's true in terms of being attached to reality let's call it in that yeah. case right it uh, it does make sense yeah because a lot of these ideas could be great on paper you know in theory but at the same time when it comes to implementation there are so many other you know factors that come into play and it's uh, yeah uh, definitely something that could yeah. be um you know, both bring benefits as a like new fresh idea, right? But maybe there could be a, some kind of other configuration that brings in this innovation while staying, you know, attached to reality, like you. I'm a huge, huge <laughs> like fan you of said it. So. Huge fan of, of innovation, and innovation mu- mm-hmm, must be mm-hmm. there. Otherwise, yeah. we are we are not gonna move mm-hmm, move, move mm-hmm. forward. However, this innovation has to be checked against the reality, sure, and sure. and in order to check it well, you have to have the people who know this reality, mm-hmm, basically. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah. that's how it works. Yeah. And speaking of, you know, reality, innovation, at space and everything, right? So you've seen things across more than three decades right now. Yes. So can you talk a little bit about, yeah, which is which is really, really interesting um, to, to see and, you know, kind of to, to take mm-hmm. away some of your learnings, hopefully, from, you know, um, your experience. So can you talk a little bit about, yeah, the difference between, you know, how things were in the, I don't know, it doesn't need to be specifically by decade, yeah. right? But to make it a little bit more, you know, graspable, right? Between the 90s, 2000s, 2010s, and, and now, what kinds of switches you've seen and uh yeah then we'll go a little bit deeper into into maybe each of those the the in some way the projects are exactly the same because you have mm-hmm. some need which can be satisfied by the technology solution mm-hmm. and then you are delivering this designing and delivering this 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 solution yep. so and on this very high level it's it's absolutely the same mm-hmm. It goes down uh, into the when you go down in, into the details. It's very different. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, not sure if we can do the analysis over the decades, sure, but sure. Uh, to giving a couple to to whoever is watching us, mm-hmm. uh, giving a couple of examples. Um, n- number one, uh, first of all, the solutions thirty years ago were way, were way smaller, mm-hmm. were simpler. Okay. Uh, I, I know it's uh, right now. It's we have the more powerful machines, so we don't have to take care of the mm, uh, number of lines of, of code uh, mm-hmm. that much, and so and, and so on and so on. But the solutions were way simpler. Just to give you the example, the implementation of the new lottery uh, uh, from the man hours software uh, mm-hmm. tech, software man hours were you know for example five thousand six thousand okay. man okay. hours mm-hmm. that was thirty years ago yeah. okay yeah. right now uh, there would be no project to implement the new new mm, lottery solution below one hundred thousand hours okay. okay okay so sure. we are talking sure. 20 30 times more mm-hmm. effort mm-hmm. because the systems are more complex yeah. uh, they're, they're, of course they provide way more uh, functionality mm-hmm. so that's mm-hmm. that's that's number one yeah uh, number two um, there were no processes mm-hmm. Uh, uh, of course, there were very s- there were idea of you know what should we do. For mm-hmm. example, we should write down the requirements up front, uh, which we're st- st- still still doing. But the re- requirements were simple documents describing the mm-hmm. um, the, the 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 solutions. But there was no 
step by step process of you know what we should do in order to sure. uh, to to accomplish the project. Mm-hmm. Right now we have it. We yeah. have you know agile methodology, PM mm-hmm. Bock, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, so so we have it. We have uh, references. You know how to mm-hmm. how to do the projects. Uh, number three, very interesting. Uh, mm, uh, probably for many people uh, listening to us right now mm-hmm. uh, 30 years ago there was no separate testing of the of the solution okay quality assurance uh-huh. did not exist uh-huh. at some uh-huh. moment sure uh, i remember when i was and when i started i was mm-hmm. i was the uh, computer operator at the time i was called you know by software engineers to mm-hmm. help them out with testing the solutions okay okay uh, uh, but there was not structured mm-hmm. in a, in mm-hmm. a way I, I took the requirements which again was free description sure, of, sure. of what should work mm-hmm. and then t- doing my best uh, uh, to, to to break the solution mm-hmm. to 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 show the failure sometimes it was very easy just pushing sure. a couple of buttons <laughs> just joking <laughs> uh, um, uh, actually the all the quality processes mm-hmm. were 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 born and raised over a couple of decades sure, uh, sure. They, 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 they didn't uh, exist and number four I, that's what we already said mm-hmm. you know the projects were very different in terms of uh, communication with the customers mm-hmm. uh, uh, means which we're using for yeah. the communication tools mm-hmm. which we're using mm-hmm. for for collaboration etc cetera, etc cetera. Yeah. each document if we had to send if, if uh, i remember that you know if i would have to send a big document mm-hmm. uh, uh, i would have to uh, uh, ship it yeah. print, print yeah. it and ship it because mm-hmm. the mail was not that reliable yeah, at yeah. At, uh, at the time and mm-hmm. could be used for small messages only. Okay, okay. B- basically, so it's still still <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. still those kind of recollections. Yeah. Uh, so v- very dif- very mm-hmm, different. Mm-hmm. It, it 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 went over the time uh, and uh, mm, change very much. But we're still doing kind of the same. Mm-hmm. You know, we're taking again, we're taking the idea, some business idea turning into the functionality which can be satisfied by the technology solution mm-hmm, mm-hmm. we design it deliver sure sure all right <clears throat> yeah and you mentioned also for example yeah that agile now has become you know part of the standard and everything yes. like this but during our conversations you know before also we you know came here to, <laughs> to yeah. actually record this and talk right uh you mentioned at some point that agile might not always be the proper methodology for every single use case right and this is i think part of what you mentioned now also is kind of like the more, you know, where the senior position comes in, right? So in terms of thinking of things as like, okay, we have a problem, we need to find the business solution, not necessarily going that much into the deal of like, okay, what tech stack exactly is being used or what framework, stuff like that, right? That mm-hmm. you need a solution and whatever tools are used to, you know, build that are just the tools, right? So yeah. not the not the core thing. Um, and I think but please correct me if I'm wrong, right? Like it's similar with the project management um, approach, right? That you have different tools, methodologies, you know, frameworks to help you organize things, get them a bit more formalized, um, make them also a bit more um, like scalable for lack of a better word, right? Across the organization. So when you have like one framework that everyone knows Mm -hmm. that everyone is used to, it's different than like you said, right? When it's a bit of a smaller team as well, right? It's easier to do all of these things together because you all know kind of what each person is working on, what's you know happening, how things interconnect with each other in terms of systems. Yes. Um, so yeah, going back to the main question in terms of you know deciding which, for example, methodology to use and what are some positives and the drawbacks. Yeah, how do you see those, especially maybe in your industry? Uh, uh, I, I I wanna I wanna use the example from the industry because mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. that's easier for me and of course, also of course. you know yeah, yeah. also it's 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 we're, we're trying to be attached to the reality. Absolutely, so so absolutely. let's be attached to the reality. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The reality is that uh, mm, uh, Agile type solutions in the project management mm-hmm. are good where you have the flexibility in and defining the goals of the project, mm-hmm. right? In, in, in when you have the flexibility in what you <coughs> want to achieve, and there is, there is uh, understanding between the organization which is delivering the project and the organization which is receiving the project. Mm-hmm. Yes, okay, we want to do something, mm-hmm. and and this is the high level goal. But you know, we don't know how it's going to look at the end of the day, and everybody is in agreement with that. Yeah. and it's very good because we, it gives you the mm, flexibility in running the project. It gives you the uh, um, possibility to to manage it more efficiently, mm-hmm. but it does not give you the uh, ability to uh, deliver exactly what is agreed and defined upfront. If that's the case, mm-hmm. 
So if you don't have it, you know, strict definition of what you're supposed to deliver, you can use agile methodology. We are working in the industry, which is normally mm, operating. Uh, the lotteries are replacing their systems every ten years, let's okay. say, Se okay. between seven and fifteen, mm -hmm. but on average, let's say, 10, 10 years. So the solution changes uh, every ten years, mm -hmm. and the project to deliver such a solution uh, takes year to two years. Okay, it's 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 uh, it's significant uh, um, effort. Mm -hmm. uh, but before the project, there is the procurement process. Mm -hmm. And uh, most of the lotteries, if not all of the lotteries, uh, are running those procurement processes in very strict way. Mm -hmm. So the, the, they define the requirements. They put the big book of the requirements, mm -hmm. which usually has a couple of hundred, hundred pages, and ask uh, the suppliers for the, for the, for the, for okay. the, pro for the proposals. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so, we, as one of the potential suppliers, provide our proposals based on that. Mm -hmm. uh, in case we win, we are delivering the project again based on that. So, so sure. the requirements on the very high level are defined, mm -hmm. and we cannot deviate from them for a number of reasons. The reason number one is that's what the lottery wants. Mm -hmm. Reason number two is the, <laughs> is, is the fact that uh, uh, we got the deal uh, and the, and the cust customer gave us the deal based in the in the procurement process, mm -hmm. which usually mm -hmm. is. Official sure. for, for formal, so so any deviation from that would uh, uh, violate the, the mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. violate the the, 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 the process. Yeah. Uh, so we have to deliver what is what is predefined. If we have something predefined, we mm -hmm. can uh, define. Uh, we can define how we're gonna do it. Yeah. What people do we need for that? How much time does it gonna uh, take? Mm -hmm. What it's gonna cost us, etc., etc., etc. That's by the way we 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 put our our financial proposal. Yes, mm -hmm. gonna mm -hmm. deliver to to you this this uh, solution for X million of dollars mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. there are heavy millions of a lot of, of dollars in in, sure. in in our industry. And associated with that, there is there is uh, 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 there are also the um, re responsibility responsibilities. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to deliver within the time frame mm -hmm. with the Predefined requirements; yep. otherwise, we, we we pay the penalties. Uh, in within the setup, there is no room for for being too flexible. Okay, we, again, we can we can be flexible in designing the customer facing screens, sure. UI, mm -hmm. uh, but we cannot be flexible in terms of uh, delivering the solution because the solution number one has to be exactly what was defined. Mm -hmm. Number two, delivered on time. Yeah. Number three. That's that's how we planned it. Mm -hmm. that, that's what how we budgeted it. Yeah, and in case we don't do that, you know, we pay the severe penalties. That, that's why there is no no possibility to again mm -hmm. be, be more flexible. That's why uh, a waterfall uh, approach makes more sense, mm -hmm. and it's probably the only one we we can we can use that. Yeah. However, we are using the agile methodologies mm -hmm. not only in this customer-facing um, cases, but also in the product development. Sure. Right. When you when you when you know that you have some high-level product marketing requirements, let's mm -hmm. call it this way, mm -hmm. and you have the budget and you have uh, uh, flexible time, you can you can you can uh, work more flexibly and use uh, agile methodologies for that, and which we which we do. Mm -hmm. So. Conclusion is, if you have uh, different methodologies, you can use them for different uh, business scenarios mm -hmm. or the um, or the situation or, or the reality, you know, in which you are. Basically. Sure, sure, yeah, yeah, got it. Uh, yeah, that's true. And in terms of, um, you were mentioning that, uh, yeah, that uh, things are quite um, specific and. Uh, yeah, that you need to commit to something and deliver to it. So that also has a bit to do with the regulations as well, yes. since it's a highly regulated um, industry. How do you deal with that complexity also? Yeah, because it's highly regulated, but that also means that it's based on each country's specific laws, each mm -hmm. region specific laws and everything like that. So yeah, like I mentioned, it's a different level of complexity from the product development standpoint, let's say, or, you know, from just like deciding how to, you know, structure your proposals and everything, but also from like the practical and project management standpoint. 
how does that yeah how do you handle those differences between you know like the countries and everything like that um because yeah it's taking it's, all the formalities aside and and sure, just you sure. know regular communication cooperation etc 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 there is no other way just experience that okay okay and uh, the advantage of, of 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 igt and the people we have in poland is the fact that the, they have the experience mm -hmm. Yeah, they uh, uh, used to work in many different countries, in mm -hmm. many different uh, situations, projects, sure. uh, and they know how to work in more flexible environments mm -hmm. and more, you know, strict environments. Mm -hmm. so, as you can imagine, the uh, working in, for example, Germany mm -hmm. is more strict in terms of the communication, sure. relations, etc., mm -hmm. etc. Et mm -hmm. uh, but going uh, to the east, uh, working in Lithuania, which is, by the way, very uh, very demanding customer, okay. and, uh, uh, but uh, but uh, more easy to work with in in the, in, in in terms of cooperation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so 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 that's number one. Number two, um, uh, gaining the experience mm -hmm. from different uh, countries. Uh, we have people working in many places, so they can transfer their knowledge from one place mm -hmm. to to another. Um, sometimes they are very interesting uh, examples uh, I, I will use Israel in this in this mm -hmm. case uh, we are providing uh, as a part of the solution we are providing the the, lot the lottery terminals which are sp specialized machines you know for the point of sales mm -hmm. uh, and the software on those terminals is uh, uh, written the way that it uh, treats each customer after another so 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 we are opening the transaction for first customer mm -hmm. the sell process is finished the guy pays okay okay we're closing the transaction and there's another mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it's serial you know sure. it's, it's, uh, the the customers are, 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 um, are served uh, mm -hmm. one one after another uh, israeli lottery came to us saying they want to change it mm -hmm. they want to change this uh, functionality mm -hmm. in the uh, in the software uh, because they have the situation where the one customer is coming you know uh, uh, he or she bought the instant ticket for example mm -hmm. and scratching the ticket in uh, talking to the salesperson mm -hmm. but in the meantime the new new customer is coming and they start to talk to each other mm -hmm. um, and the new customer wants to buy the ticket mm -hmm. but they don't want to close the transaction for the first person okay. because okay. This, this first person might still want something in a minute mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so on and so on so so the lottery asks us for the solution basically like the restaurant so a solution when when you're opening the tap for oh, sure, mul sure. multiple uh -huh, customers uh -huh. yeah yeah uh, and of course we didn't understand well we, did, we didn't understand it you know they, mm -hmm. they had to explain to us that this is the cultural right. you know mm -hmm. behavior sure. okay people do that mm -hmm. so we have to have the solution in order to satisfy mm -hmm. this type of uh, of of behavior yeah yeah, and th thanks to that we did it. We have it, and in, in, if any other customer wants mm -hmm. to implement it, we, we we are ready to do so. But sure. coming back to people, I mean, the people who are working that, you know, uh, they have the broader experience. They that was just one example, of course. They had of the course. broader ex sure. ex experience. They know uh, how the things can be can be solved, so this knowledge can be transferred to the mm -hmm. other customers, other lotteries, other parts okay. parts of the world. Okay, got it. Yeah. Uh, once you mentioned the restaurant example, that's when it became you know. <laughs> to yeah. me what it meant but i guess for you at that time right it took a bit of time to understand exactly how to translate that requirement into a solution and how how it looks like right in exactly, terms of something exactly, that, yeah. that you're yeah. already familiar with um okay okay got it yeah and um yeah when it comes to uh yeah dealing with all of these things plus the you know proposals and you know um projects that are either ending or coming to an end or new ones that are coming up on the horizon how do you um work with things, for example, like the, uh, you know, resource allocation or the planning, stuff like that. So are you still involved in that hands-on? Maybe that's, yeah, that's my first that's, question. Yeah, of and, course. That's, and how that, do you... That, yeah. That's the basis of our, you know, work, basically. <laughs> basically. Planning uh, short-term and long-term, uh -huh, mainly uh -huh. long-term, it's, 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 it's very key. Sure. Mm, as we were talking before uh, our meeting, mm -hmm. those projects might become very big ones. Yeah. Uh, we might have you know 50 100 people working for a year or two okay 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 so so planning is very mm -hmm. key very, mm -hmm. very 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 crucial 
Of course, we have a number of smaller projects as, mm -hmm. as, as well, but, uh, but uh, taking all the puzzles, you have to put them together sure, somehow. Sure. Uh, first of all, you know, we need to see the opportunity. Okay, what is on the horizon when? Mm -hmm. What are the initial, initial dates? Uh, 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 that's number one. So we have kind of, you know, laying the, 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 the outlook of what might happen in, mm -hmm. the, in the future for the next year or, 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 or two. Uh, number two, we have to find out what each opportunity means. Mm -hmm. Okay, if we, if the, if it's the, sm if this is a small project or the big one, uh, if it's you know ten thousand hours effort or you know fifty thousand hours effort mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. hundred fifty thousand yeah. uh, hours effort, because it's it's, it's very d different. Mm -hmm. uh, number three, it's uh, of course uh, mm, splitting it into the uh, roles planning. Okay. 50,000 effort, mm -hmm. one project manager, two project managers, yeah, yeah. one finance lead, uh, one uh, one system engineer, mm -hmm. one uh, terminal lead, you yeah. know, two terminal engineers, etc., etc., etc. We have to split it into into the uh, into the roles. Uh, when we putting this information, loading basically this information mm -hmm. into into our database, we see. And we are doing it on the on the on the regular basis. We see, okay, what is the demand? What is the supply? Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and this is, of course, on the on the on the on the high level, mm -hmm. on on, mm -hmm. on 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 not on the names, but on the on the roles, as sure. as, mm -hmm. as as we call it. Uh, uh, and of course, the situation later on changes. So so you have to be flexible. You have to uh, react to what's what's happening. Mm -hmm. uh, some uh, some uh, rapid uh, demands or, or some delays. It works, works, works both ways. Of course, of course. Mm -hmm. And once we have it, we have to put the names into the mm, uh, into the actual projects. Mm -hmm. So, so, so assigning the names, and at that time, we know uh, uh, if we have enough people okay. within the organization mm -hmm. and within the uh, available pool of the people we mm -hmm. have at hand or we need to look outside okay go to IT imagination for example uh, sure. mm -hmm. to ask for 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 for, for more people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, our golden rule is that uh, in the customer deliveries uh, we are using in majority our people mm -hmm. and then you know we we add uh, extra resources from 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 from, mm -hmm. uh, from from outside sure. just to sure. keep the, just to keep the balance mm -hmm. to keep, mm -hmm. to to make sure that uh, we have the core of the people who mm -hmm. uh, who know, and of course, who know. Uh, of course, the the preference is that you know if we are doing the the project for the specific customer, we put on this project people who know the customer. Sure, sure, mm -hmm. and who are attached to reality, also. Right? Exactly, <laughs> like exactly, we were exa exactly, exactly. <laughs> That's the part of you know being yeah. attached to the reality uh -huh, because. Uh -huh. uh, uh, knowing the lottery solution it does not necessarily mean that you sure. know this specific sure. solution, mm -hmm. this, this mm -hmm. specific customer, and, yeah. and, yeah. and their demands. So, mm -hmm. so basically, that's how it works. And then, one, one, once we have the opportunity to confirm, because we want the the the, the procurement process, uh, or we have some other kind of of, of deal, um, uh, money is founded. We are mm -hmm. opening the project, mm -hmm. and from this moment on, the project manager takes over. Okay. Managing the, mm -hmm. the, the team All and right. the project. Okay. Yes. Okay. Got it. And for each project, in those cases, you usually have one kind of main owner, let's say, of the project. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be the project manager in this case or, or someone else, but is that usually kind of like the person who is in charge of, you know, driving the project forward, making sure that everything, you know, is kind of heading in? Or do you have kind of like other business units who are responsible for it's, it? It's, if it's, uh, I don't know no, if that question is, you know. Yeah. I, I think I understand your, your, your question. <laughs> sure, let, sure. Me, let me try to, to, mm -hmm. to answer it. A project manager is always the owner of the project. Okay. That, that's, that, that's what the, mm -hmm, the way it mm -hmm. is. If the project is, uh, the, the person like myself, we, we call those people regional lead, which mm -hmm. are responsible for the region, yeah. uh, the, the technology del delivers mm -hmm. in the region, is responsible for the portfolio of the projects okay. in, yeah. in the, in the region, mm -hmm, okay? Mm -hmm. Which means that I'm supervising the, the particular project and particular project manager, mm -hmm. but also have the outlook on everything what is, what is, sure. what, what is happening mm -hmm. in the project and correlation between those projects, uh, dependencies, and so on okay. and so on. Okay. And the third part, uh, playing the vital role is 
is is a business mm -hmm. team on our side who's the owner of the business yeah. uh, there is always an owner of the business mm -hmm. we as a technology don't own the business we're just delivering the solution mm -hmm. uh, which is part of the um, of the business and sure. of course the, the customer but, that, mm -hmm. that's, mm -hmm. but that's that's clear <laughs> there must <laughs> be it. a customer yeah, otherwise yeah. we we have no one to deliver uh -huh. to. Uh -huh. got it yeah and in terms of yeah how you ended up also moving in this case right to a senior leadership position being part of the board and mm -hmm. everything so can you talk a little bit about you know what helped you get to this point and you know to this point in your career and maybe a parallel question would be but i'll leave it you know mm -hmm. up to you to decide how to answer that is uh what makes a good project manager and especially one that wants to kind of you know move up the uh, you know, move upwards in their career mm -hmm. um, further, you know, to, to more senior leadership positions? Uh, I will start with the second question. Yeah, yeah of, uh, course, good, of course. Good, good project mm -hmm, manager. Mm -hmm. First of all, the, the manager, by definition, is the person who's making decisions. Mm -hmm. So the good project manager should be able to make the decisions, mm -hmm, okay? Mm -hmm. If if there is the person who, act, who, who pretends to be the project manager, but uh -huh. the only... And the only thing he or she does is, you know, organize the meeting, uh, preparing the reports, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. That's, that's not the core. Okay. Sure. This is something which needs to happen, mm -hmm. but that's not what the, what, what I expect from the, from mm -hmm. the, from the project manager. That's number one. Number two, uh, coming back to number one, yeah. making decisions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bad decision, in my opinion, is better than no decision. Yeah. You have to move things forward. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Number two, a sense of ownership. Yeah. It's 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 a bit like with it's with the baby. You are the project manager. This is your project. I I you own it. Mm -hmm. You are responsible for the for 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 for, for the delivery. Mm -hmm. This is something you manage from A to Z. People, budget, tasks, processes, yeah. customer, etc. etc. Mm -hmm. So, so, so the good project manager have, have to have the sense of ownership. Mm -hmm. uh, number three is, uh, uh, I would call it, uh, uh, willingness to accomplish, mm -hmm. to 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 build something, to deliver something. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, for me personally, the, the 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 driver in my project management days was when I when I saw that something has been built. Yeah. Something is up and running. Mm -hmm, people mm -hmm. are using it. That was the, that was the driver for me. Sure. Of course, the driver might be different for different mm -hmm, different mm -hmm. di different people. But uh, the good project manager has to be excited about the fact that at the end of the process, mm -hmm. he or she will 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 uh, deliver yeah, yeah. this something mm -hmm. and the something, something to fruition yeah, to something, life. Something to, is yeah. fruition to life. Uh -huh, exactly. Uh -huh. This exactly. The something might be the new thing, mm -hmm. uh, this something might be the thing which is useful for people, sure. this something might be the satisfaction for the customer, mm -hmm. uh, sense, sense of that. Uh, and number four, last but not least, and probably I should put it as, as number one, um, is the good project manager has to be a good leader. Okay. And now I have to explain what good leader <laughs> means to me. You already because, got my next question. Yeah. Uh, because uh, because it's uh, um, in today's world, I can see that uh, many people are mixing the uh, the name leader with the manager. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, if you own the, any managerial position, that does not mean at all that you are a leader mm -hmm. at all. In my opinion, that's I'm just saying my opinion. The leader is the person who has the followers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you don't have the followers, and those followers the the might follow you, have to follow you because they want to, not mm -hmm. because they are forced to follow you. That's that's also mm -hmm. very important. Mm -hmm. If you have the followers and you convince them that the ideas you are presenting are good for them, uh -huh. and that's why they are following you, that mm -hmm. then you are the leader. Okay. okay. So, so good leader is the person who is able to convince people to their idea, his his or her ideas, and have them follow him. Mm -hmm. uh, follow him because they want to, because they see uh, that those ideas make sense, etc., mm -hmm. etc. Et mm -hmm. So, good project manager um, should be the leader. It's not always the case; not everybody mm -hmm. is a leader, but uh, but um, ideal project manager is 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 is, okay. is a leader. Mm -hmm. Got it. All right. Yeah. Thank you. You answered. So, I think so, both so, of those so, like <laughs> really, really so, so that's uh, yeah. and and uh, coming back to your first question mm -hmm. uh, about uh, me moving from the mm, man uh, project manager role into regional role mm -hmm. or, or the executive uh, role. Uh, 
um, answering your question, maybe I will not answer it exactly. But sure, sure. F- first of all, for me, it was a, it was a big change. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was put in the position that I was supposed to um, supervise PMs, project managers, mm-hmm. and I was yesterday a project manager. Okay. So naturally, I wanted to do the things myself. Mm-hmm. I wanted to tell the people how to do the things. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. That's the, the, then I realized, then, then I recalled when mm-hmm. I was the project manager, the last thing I wanted is the, somebody coming over to me, you know, from time to time uh-huh. and telling me uh-huh. how to do the things, again, without the attachment to the reality. Sure, sure. Uh, so no, uh, so, so in order to become a, uh, executive, mm-hmm. let's call it this this way, you have to realize the, what's your role. Mm-hmm. Uh, you are not there, and, and I realize that I'm not there to do the things for my people. Yeah. Actually, I like them to do the things for me, but mm-hmm. not the other way around. <laughs> but I'm there to, number one, to, to I would call it, manage the big picture, mm-hmm. okay? Uh, people are responsible for the pieces of, of the work, yeah. projects usually, in our case, it's it's it's, 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 it's project, mm-hmm. but you have to have the outlook and, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the whole portfolio mm-hmm. and, the, and, the, and you know, what's, what's going on. Also, what's what's on the horizon, mm-hmm. trying to prepare for, for that. That's number one, so, sure. that, so, so that. Uh, number two, uh, I'm supposed to help my people, mm-hmm. not again, not the, to do the things sure, for them, sure. mm-hmm. but help. And there's there's also the difference. Helping them, meaning you know, uh, mm, uh, fixing for them problems they cannot fix. Mm-hmm. Usually, they are in a high level sure. high, high, high mm-hmm. level problems, mm-hmm. but also uh, giving them the environment they can work peacefully. Okay, arranging for them people, arranging the, for them. Uh, uh, obstacles mm-hmm. that they, they mm-hmm. have they, they have uh, on the way preparing them and mm-hmm. uh, number three it's developing the developing people sure it's a very c- crucial role mm-hmm. as, as we're, we're discussing uh, mm, uh, in order to have uh, organization which is running pretty well mm-hmm. you have to invest it up front in order to have the people who yeah. who are well selected uh, well mentored mm-hmm. well trained. Mm-hmm. Okay. Once you have it, the organization is, is, is up and running. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to concentrate uh, um, on that. Sure. Uh, and of course, the last last thing is is to uh, to kind of I call it manage the things above everybody's head. Mm-hmm. So dealing with the with the lottery executives, the customer executives, uh, dealing with different departments mm-hmm. within mm-hmm. within the organization uh, on the on the same level. So all the things which are not important for day by mm-hmm, day, mm-hmm. Uh, day, day, day daily work for for, yeah. for for the people are kept away from them mm-hmm, as, mm-hmm. Um, as, as 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 well. So mm-hmm. and they remain a bit uh, invisible. Those topics may, and exactly, yeah, yeah. Ex- exactly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. At the end of the day, I I should always remember that the people working for me that they are doing the job. Mm-hmm. I, I I tend to think that I'm not doing the real job. Mm-hmm. I'm just Providing the protection, sure, sure, in different, in different, uh-huh. in, uh, in different meanings of this word, but mm-hmm. the protection to the people so they can do yeah, the work, yeah. they can be, mm-hmm. they can be productive, they can be useful, mm-hmm. and they can, you know, generate value added. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, and I think yeah, when you mentioned also the you know investment in the people, making sure that they are also yeah advancing and everything, that's definitely also to your point before that you know that they're not just there only like oh the money is the only thing right, but there are other many many different factors right. Absolutely, too, absolutely, as well. and that's that's definitely. Definitely, yeah, um, super important point. Um, and speaking of, yeah, in terms of the company, you know, culture having this, um, you know, um, the approach to help, you know, um, advance people further, and you know, to make sure to have this this type of culture internally. Uh, there's a bit of a related side topic to it, right? So I know we've talked also that you're also a very big proponent of women in IT and STEM, and also you know everything related to inclusion, diversity. Uh, can you talk a little bit about those? You know, kind of how you. You know, I don't know how to how to phrase the question actually, but I, I, I how you got you... how you got into oh. this? Yeah, what's your you know what's your approach in general, and what you kind of advocate for um, uh, usually? I would start with the you know two sentence statement, uh, and sure. the sentence number one would be women are in IT. Mm-hmm. And sentence number two would be women are great in IT. Mm-hmm. Okay, and, and, and basically that should close the case. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, no, what's what's what, what's actually happening, and and why why I'm involved. Um, 
many years ago, we realized that uh, uh, women in, in IT exist, mm -hmm. uh, that women in IT, uh, in, in IGT uh, exist, and they're working very well, and mm -hmm. they can be a very good example for the for the for the others, for mm -hmm. for the girls, for the for the young women who mm -hmm. are studying, uh, or or even before the study, they sure. don't know you know mm -hmm. which way to go, and they are looking for some uh, some role models, and they are looking for some again attachment to the reality. What does it mean to be the women in in, in IT? Mm -hmm. So we decided that we're gonna promote our women. Uh, uh, Purely uh, for the for for uh, for the reason to to show the way, show the possibility, mm -hmm. uh, show how the real world looks like to yep. those young women who might be considering the uh, their, 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 their future. And mm -hmm. it works. Um, first of all, women, as I said, women are great in 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 IT. On number of occasions, we we, we show that to young young women and trying to 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 to, to prove to them. It's there. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to be difficult. By the way, it's not difficult. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can work in the in the uh, man-dominated environment because, unfortunately, that, sure. that, the that, skew is, that, is that, huge towards yeah. that. That's yeah. that's 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 how it is. Mm -hmm. But it uh, it's not scary. It's normal. Uh, it's it's it's, it's successful. Mm -hmm. mm, that's number one, and we are successful in in number of cases. We have uh, we have. Uh, a number of uh, ladies who started career with 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 us or developed their career mm -hmm, with mm. with uh, with us um, and uh, number two we try to show them that they can feel safe and uh, and appreciated mm -hmm. again mm -hmm. based on the examples yeah. it's not a theoretical speech it's mm -hmm, not a couple mm -hmm. of slides telling them hey this is this is how it should be yeah. now talk to talk to Mogosha mm -hmm. talk to uh, talk to Elisa, mm -hmm. talk to Beata, you know, see see uh, what is their experience, sure. you know, and, mm -hmm. and so on and mm -hmm. so on. So um, that's how it works. That's why we are moving on with with that. And I think it's successful. It mm -hmm. makes and it makes makes sense. Makes sense for us. Yeah. Uh, for, on, on two reasons. Uh, for two reasons. Reason number one, we have a sense of doing something useful, mm -hmm. uh, and number two. We have a couple of people working for us, a mm -hmm, couple of mm -hmm. ladies working for us, so extra, sure. extra um, talents, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, also makes sense for population, I believe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Definitely, yeah, yeah. Uh, and in those cases, yeah, because you mentioned that, yeah, it shouldn't be, you know, like a non-safe, scary environment, but, you know, unfortunately, also sometimes there is, like, the discrimination and there, everything. There is per perception like and, that sometimes. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And I think, yeah, what you mentioned also, like, having the mentorship, having someone to go to who might have either dealt with those situations before or just talk to them a bit you know differently on exactly. like a expectation setting level definitely that's that's great um yeah, yeah. yeah. okay okay that's great and uh, maybe final you know closing words do you have any advice for you know younger people who are either starting off their career or already kicked <laughs> off a few years and uh you know like yeah. What to? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Just like some general things that you've learned. Um, uh, I was, I was thinking about it before. Uh, we, after uh -huh. we talked before the before before our meeting me, sure. meeting today, mm -hmm. and I, and the, the 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 first thing which came to my mind is knock the door. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, there is number of opportunities in IT mm -hmm. uh, for for different people. Yeah. Okay, if you are. Mm, talented uh, software developer, there are opportunities for you. Mm -hmm. If you are Graphic designer, there are opportunities for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, if you are talented, uh, if you if you have uh, 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 not the technical mind, but uh, I wanted to say kind of mathematical mind mm -hmm, or, mm -hmm. or the analytic mind, you know. Uh, but you don't have the skill set or the or the um, or, or the education. There sure. are the opportunities for for mm -hmm, you. Mm -hmm. So you just have to. Uh, Figure out what you want to try, what mm -hmm. you want to do, and knock the door. Okay. There are a number of opportunities right now. You can work as a software developer. You can work as a tester, mm -hmm. quality mm -hmm. assurance engineer. You can work as an analyst to, mm -hmm. to define and describe the requirements. You, you can work as a project okay. uh, manager. Uh, in IT right now, there are a number of opportunities. IT industry needs people. Mm -hmm. We know mm -hmm. that we... <laughs> People are needed in sure. the in the IT industry. Mm -hmm. If you are young, if you don't know what to do, just try, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. uh, and try different different things. Uh, 
uh, reason for that is that if you, if you are going to one company and you knock the door, they might not need you today, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but another company might might need you there. So sure, so so, sure. so just just try, just mm-hmm, knock mm-hmm. the door. Okay, okay, all right. I think that's great and great to end it on. <laughs> so thank you so much, Yarek, for joining us today. Thank you for inviting me. It was great talking to you. And uh, yeah, to our viewers out there, thank you for joining us as well. And we'll see you in the next one.